Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing. And in today's video, I want to talk about one of the Wix apps. It's the Frequently Asked Questions app or FAQ app. And this is an example of what it looks like on a Wix Studio website here. So you have this section with the questions and you can click in and see the answers. So it's just a simple app, but there's a lot of websites that need FAQs. Uh, most websites, I would say, have a frequently asked questions section. And so this is what it looks like. And I'm going to show you uh, how to set this up on the back end and a couple of things to consider as you think about the frequently asked questions. So on the back end of this website here, if I go to my apps, it's one of the apps that you do have to install. So if you don't have it installed, you have to go to the app market here and then you have to type in, I just type in FAQ, FAQ, and it will come up here. I think it's not coming up because I already have it here. There it is right there, the Wix FAQ. And so if you click into this, you would add it, it would say add to your website here. Um, and once you add it, then you can use it. So let me go back to the FAQs app here on the left hand side. So these are the questions that we were just looking at on the front end of the website. This is what they look like on the back end. So you have your question here, and if you open this up, you have the question, and then you have the answer, and you have all of these uh, different things that you can add into your FAQ section. So for example, if you needed to add a YouTube video here, you could do that. If you needed to add something from social media or an image into your FAQ section, you could do that. Maybe you want to show a picture of something, you can do that here. Um, and then you'll notice there's also these categories. So right now there's only one category that uh, is being used, just this general category. But let's say that you had other categories. You had general and then you had shipping and then you had uh, uh, refunds. Uh, so you can, you can create all kinds of categories in here and questions and answers for each category. You can also use uh, AI to generate FAQs, although I've had some issues with this uh, AI uh, button here. Every time I've tried it, it kind of gives me an error, but um, it seems like that will be an option in the future once it starts working. So you just go in and create this uh, on the back end, these frequently asked questions. Uh, you can also add it to your chat if you're using the online chat here you can add it there but on the website itself let's take a look and see what options we get this is something that I think is important because when you add these apps to the website you can still further customize them uh, on the front end for design and layout and how you want them so I'm gonna go down to the FAQ section here this is where it is so if I do manage FAQs, this actually opens back up into the dashboard where uh, I, I put in all these questions. Uh, so I don't want to do that. I want to go to settings and then I have these different options. So I can show a title. I can show this search bar here. Um, this is where I get to choose if I'm using FAQs only or if I have FAQs with categories. And then if I did have different categories, I could filter these categories for certain pages. So maybe I only want certain categories on the home page, but there's other pages where I want to show other categories. I could do that here. If I enable these social share options, then uh, you can share these to different platforms. I have these disabled because I don't really want them shared. I just want someone to see the question and the answer here on the website. And then for the layout, there's different options as well. So there's this expand one where it has the icon. There's this classic one where it's just displayed. There's no expanding. And then there's this strip one where you do have to click on each of these and it'll expand. Um, so there's different options here. I went with this expand option. Um, and then of course you could change the way that the title's aligned and direction and then settings. Um, this setting here, always show the answer first, just means that, that first one is displayed. And so uh, that way when they get there, they know it's a drop dropdown um, and show one answer at a time. I, I, I like that option. And then designing, here's where you get the design options. So for your header, you get fonts and colors. For your category, you can also select the app background. 
and then for questions and answers you can set as well I'm just using my site styles my paragraph 1 and paragraph 3 and then the icon so you can see that this is a plus icon over here it could be an arrow but I have it as a plus and um, these dividers you can also design those as well so you get a couple of options when it comes to design there's some support here if you have questions on how to manage it but I think it looks really professional to have this functional frequently asked questions section where they can click the question and answer this is really common on lots of different websites and it works for mobile devices as well so for a mobile device they would just be tapping tapping this question and it'll close um, but it's a great way to use your frequently asked questions and it's a free app from Wix so you can use this on Wix Studio websites you can use this on Wix editor websites and you can do as many questions as you want if you have a hundred questions you can do a hundred questions if you have five frequently asked questions you can you can do that uh, five questions as well and uh, there there were a few customization options so if we did have categories they would actually show up here and you could tab through the different categories I can show real quick what that would look like um, so mine just has the one category but as soon as I enable this you'll see that it has general so if there was another one it would show up here and you could you could tab through these and uh, get the different categories that you want so I hope that's helpful to show you one of the options to create a professional looking FAQ section. I've used it here on this website that talks about the online course, the Mastering Wix Studio course. And I think it's a great option uh, because most websites do need a frequently asked questions section. A lot of them uh, can benefit from having something like this. So I hope that's been helpful. And again, on the back end here, you just go to this apps on the left hand side. Um, and if you don't have it installed, then you have to go to the app market. If you do have it installed, you just open up this app here and you can start creating your frequently asked questions. And you can drag and drop these two if you want one to be uh, first or second, you can drag and drop them pretty easily. Um, you can duplicate them, you can have a link to them, so there's a couple of options there. And as this category goes, if there was another category, you'd have the option to delete. It would show up down here, and you could you know, edit your categories however you want to. Alright, well that's all I have for today's video, and I will see you in the next video.